Number 60. Calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of acids or bases. Assume that the ionization of water can be neglected and show that the change in the initial concentrations can be neglected. Okay, and then we have letter B. So in this case, we have 0.0784 molarity of C6H5NH2, and they're telling me that that's a weak base. So thank you very much. I went to the back of the textbook and I found the KB value that we need to answer this question. And that's 4.3 times 10 to the negative 10th. Now with any KB value or KA, we always have to work off of a balanced equation. So that's the first thing we're going to do. With bases, in order to get a, a correct balanced equation, we always have to add it with water. So I'm going to say C6H5NH2 plus H2O will yield equilibrium because this is a weak base. Remember, bases gain a hydrogen, so this 2 will turn into a 3. So C6H5NH3 plus, and then this will lose one of your hydrogens, so that turns into OH minus. And if you produce... OH minus in your solution, you know that you're a base. Now, since we want to find all the, uh, the concentrations of all the solute solutions, they're talking about equilibrium concentrations. And with anything that's happening in equilibrium, we need an ice table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up right now. We have I, C, E. Beautiful. And all charged species, so positive or negative ions, those are always aqueous. Your weak acid or weak base that you started with is always going to be aqueous. But remember, the water that's the solvent is always a liquid. And just like they said, the ionization of water can be neglected. That means that we don't care about water since it's a liquid. So we need it to make a balanced equation, but we don't use it in terms of math. Now, they did say that we started off with 0 0.0784 molarity of the base. That was your initial concentration, and that's what I stands for. I stands for initial. So we started off with 0 0.0784 of the base. But now the question is, did we start off with any of these products? Not that they said. They just told us that we started off with that. So I'm just going to say that we started off with none here. And none here. C stands for change, the change in the concentration as you go to equilibrium from initial. Now, technically, you can only go up from nothing. You can never have a negative molarity. So on the product side, we can only have plus and plus, which means that the reactants are minus. We don't know how much we increased by, so pick a variable, any variable, but we always choose x. So minus x, plus x, and plus x. And with acid bases, generally your coefficients are always going to be 1 to 1 to 1. So that's why you don't have to worry about minus 2x or minus 3x and so on. E stands for equilibrium. And that's just the, the, the initial and the change coming together. So 0 0.0784 minus x is 0 0.0784 minus x. 0 plus x is x. 0 plus x is x. And this now is what we're going to be using for our KB formula. But they did say that show that the change in the initial concentrations can be neglected, which means that the change in the initial, so this minus x, can be neglected, meaning that when we do the math, we don't care about this value. Basically, we're making it easier for ourselves. Instead of having to do the quadratic, we just neglect this change and call it a day and just solve for the x's. It just makes it easier for the math. The reason being is because since this value, the kb, is so low, it's 10 to the negative 10th, that means that initial, you have all of your reactant, and at equilibrium, you will have mostly reactant. So would this number really change much? No, it wouldn't change to the point where it's going to make a big difference. So the minus x is going to be so small. That's why we get rid of it. 
Now let's do the math. So KB equals, remember KB just equals concentration of the two products divided by the two reactants. And we can only take from equilibrium. So it'd be X times X divided by this. And we know that the KB value is this. So maybe, I guess for right now, let's just show you it. And then we'll plug in the numbers. So we have C6H5 NH3 plus times OH minus. And then we have divided by C6H5NH2. That's this guy right here, right? Okay, so now let's plug in the values. 4.3 times 10 to the negative 10th equals something divided by something else. So we have x times x. These are all equilibrium values, 0 0.0784. We can do cross multiplication to solve for x, right? And x times x is just x squared. So x squared equals 4.3 times 10 to the negative 10th times 0 0.0784. And since this is not the full answer, we do not round. So 3.3712 times 10 to the negative 11th. And maybe I'll just pull this up because we want to get x by itself. So we do the square root on both sides. And now that's going to be the answer. And they give me three sig figs, so I'll give three sig figs back. So 5.81 times 10 to the negative sixth. Now this x value is for the x's at equilibrium. And it also includes this as well. So since the concentration of C6 H5 NH3 positive was the same as the OH minus, right? They were both X. They're both the X value. 5, 5.81 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. 5.81 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. So check on both of these. Now, to find the concentration of C6H5NH2, you will now come back and pretend that this X did exist. So you would do 0 0.0784 minus the 5.81 times 10 to the negative six. But do you see how this number is so, 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 so small? So let's see, is it gonna move the needle? 0 0.0784 minus point, oh, actually not really, minus 5.81 times 10 to the negative sixth. And I mean, it's so small, 0 0.07839, if we wanted to see any difference, molarity. And that's this one. But now hold on, because they wanna know all the solute species. Anytime you have an OH minus concentration, you secretly have an H plus, which we have to find out. And that's this formula right here. KW equals H plus times OH minus. And keep in mind that KW is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. It's a value that your teacher or professor will probably want you to memorize. So KW if I want to solve for H plus, I would divide by OH minus on both sides. So KW divided by OH minus would equal the H plus concentration, which is hydronium. So let's do it. This would equal H plus 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. We just found out that the OH minus was the X value, 5.81 times 10 to the negative sixth. And I'm just gonna tackle that on here. And remember, H plus is the same thing as H3O plus. They're both hydronium. So let's just plug it into Calci and see what we get. 
So 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 5.81 times 10 to the negative 6th. And I get 1.72 times 10 to the negative 9th. And that's molarity. And those are all of the answers. There's all your solutes. There's four of them. And that's the end for this one, guys. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments what's how you you know what's doing, what's going on in your chem class. I hope I'm giving you great educational content. At the moment, we also have physics and math videos, so stick around for those. And I will see you all in later lessons. Okie dokie. Bye.